Hi, this is Raman and welcome to another episode of the 10,000 Trade Show, where we are mastering trading and creating excellence through the deliberate practice and analysis of 10,000 trades. Today we'll take a look at a bullish pennant trading strategy. Bullish pennants are when price consolidates in a triangular fashion and then it breaks out. So in this case, we're looking for price to break out in the direction of the previous move. So we're looking for price to go higher. So let's go on to the charts and we'll take a look at what bullish pennants look like and how can we trade this strategy effectively. Here we're looking at a bullish pennant. This here is an example of a bullish pennant. Bullish pennant is formed when price moves up and then holds up towards the high. And here we can see price has gone up here and is just holding the highs. It hasn't come down yet, even though we see these uh, pin bars here and it is our uh, important support and resistance area here. However, price is just holding. And if you take a look at it, it is starting to push a little bit um, higher. So it is just holding above and it's giving a little bit of an indication that it's going to move up higher. So this is a bullish setup. So normally we normally have a move up high, then we get price um, consolidating at the highs. And generally that means that we are going to see another push higher. So this is another example of a bullish pennant price broke out of this consolidation and then consolidated at the highs once again did not come down and that gives us an indication that we are likely to see another leg higher which we get here so how do we trade these now so the first example of trading these would be just getting into the move at the beginning so in this case we had price coming down and then we see a reversal signal so we have a bullish pin bar right here and then we get another confirmation candle here once you get the confirmation candle and we see the price has rejected a level at this point it's here a 10620 level here and it's also our support level once the price rejects that level we can enter the trade now this is a bullish signal and shows us that the price is likely to go higher so we can enter the trade here our stop loss goes below the low here and then we stay in the trade once price moves up nicely here then price starts to hold up at the height so at this point it doesn't look like it's coming down it's actually starting to just holding its place and starting to even look like it's moving up higher so this is our bullish pennant we wait for the bullish pennant once we recognize the pennant we just wait it out because we're looking for next leg to the upside and as we can see we get next leg to the upside and then we get another uh, bullish pennant and we get another move to the upside so now we have had three pushes in the same direction that's usually an indication that price may now either consolidate or it may even reverse so this would be a good time to get out of the trade now we are starting to see sideways consolidation again so this is a good time to exit the trade so in this case from entry to exit here we have 144 pips in the trade which is about $1,440 if trading one standard lot now there's another way to trade this so for example if you did not catch this move from the beginning what could you do so another way to trade this is look for price to break out of the bullish pennant because it is a bullish pennant the price is holding the high we are expecting it to continue higher so in this case we would wait for um, a break outside the pennant like this one look for 50% pullback and we can enter the trade here in this case we would enter the trade on 50 percent pullback right here our stop could go either below the pennant making sure we give it some room here or it can go all the way to the bottom so the uh, one out all the way to the bottom this is a safer trade um, and this one would be a little more a little more aggressive stop loss here but either one it's your uh, choice but normally we are expecting a move that will be at least this much in height so here we're looking for another move another leg which would be about the same length here so we would enter the trade right about here and then we're looking to do one to one risk to reward here and profit will be somewhere around here so once the price gets to this level we can just exit the trade so those are two different ways we can trade 
um, this bullish pennant here. One is to stay in the trade once we see the bull bullish pennant and look for that second and the third leg higher, or we can get into the trade once we do see a bullish pennant and look for that second leg to the upside. Thanks for joining me today. If you would like to learn how to trade using price action, I've created a special checklist for you. Click on the link below to download this free resource. And if you like this video, please feel free to share it with your friends and make sure you subscribe so you can get other videos that I create as well. That's it for today. I'll see you next time with another new episode.